cigar box guitar listen it's slide guitar i sat down today after i had some lunch and i picked up my guitar and i picked up my slide and i thought hey this is just jam and i thought let's just do some kind of free form slide lick lessons so we're tuned to open g on this one this is an a string tuned down to g a d string tuned normal to d and a third string g tuned normal to g so, I'm going to start out concentrating up here on the 12th fret octave, the double dot, and we'll go from there. So, I'm going to tilt down my camera so you can see a little bit closer. Besides, you don't want to see my ugly mug anyway. So, we'll start out on the 12th fret, and I'm sliding into that note, which is the second string on the 12th fret. I like to use my fingers, by the way, when I play a three-string cigar box guitar, especially when I play slide on a six-string or a three-string. So I've got my thumb sometimes plucking the middle string and sometimes plucking the third and sometimes plucking the first. Well, my first finger is also jumping around between the strings. So I'm gonna concentrate first of all with my thumb as far as the picking finger. So I'm gonna be on all three different strings periodically here. So I'm sliding into these notes from the 10th fret. I'm on the first string, then I'm jumping over to the second string. This is a plain third string. It is not a wound third string, so you're not going to get much grind on that one. You're going to get some grind on the other two strings because those are wound strings, which means it's a core with more wraps around the outside. So you get a lot more sustain. Sustain. And you get more grind to So the reason I have a plain third string on this particular guitar is because I play lots of different styles of music. And it's pretty versatile. But if you really want to get some good slide tones, I recommend having a wound third string. So all three strings would be wound in that case. But this guitar, like I said, has a plain Jane third string, which is not wrong, it's not bad, but I prefer a little bit more grind. Also a little bit more sustain. So I'm using my thumb and my first finger most of the time. So that's second string and first string. Sliding into that note on the fifth fret. And the vibrato is really important. What I like to do is I kill the two strings that I don't want to be hearing. In this case, I don't want to hear the first string and the and the third string. I only want to hear the second. So I'm going to slide into that one on the fifth fret. And down here is the tricky part. I'm using my thumb to kill the third string and my first finger to kill this second string. I mean the outside two strings. So I've got my thumb on the third string and my first finger on the first string. Now, depending on your guitar settings, sometimes you can play a note, say the middle string on the 12th fret. And then you vibrato all three and the pickup uh, will pick up the sound and the amplifier will amplify that. So I'm only playing one note. The middle string is what I'm plucking, but now I'm using my slide for vibrato. And of course the uh, pickup and the amplifier will boost that volume. 
Now for cluster notes, or for playing a lot of notes quick, I like to use my first finger and my thumb. Notice I'm using my first finger and thumb only. So let's take a look down here at what I'm doing. I'm only using the, only playing the middle and the third string. This is what it looks like without the slide, so you can see exactly what's happening. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Again, first finger and thumb. I don't use my second finger too much. I probably should use it more. Another lick I like to do a lot is I'll slide this middle string from three to five and I'm plucking the first string open. So when I slide up to five, I got two notes of the same pitch. It's a nice growling sound. Sounds really cool. A lot of people think that's a slide using a slide lick, but it's not. It's using my fingers. So I do that a lot. Then you've got your hammer-ons. So I'm playing in the pentatonic here. Three, five, zero. playing a lot of the notes, but my first finger is playing a lot of the notes as well. I like to make slow slides. Then I'm jumping over to the second string on the 12th fret. It's one of my favorite licks. So, you can see the claw hammer on this hand right here. So I'm anchoring with my pinky like I indicated earlier. That's the middle string. I'm only sliding up one fret. From four to five. And in the first string. scale that I'm using there is five three zero five three zero five three zero on all three strings that's your pentatonic so you want to mix it up you don't necessarily want to go up and down and up and down the notes so let me show you what it looks like without the slide so you can see what my fingers are doing there's a slide on my finger. This is what I'm doing. Nothing real fancy, just sliding up from three to five and back down. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, now I'm playing, I'm doing hammer-ons, which I wouldn't normally do with a slide because that's not possible. <laughs> Basically, when I use my fingers, I'm just pretending like I have a slide on my finger. And I'm just sliding up, but I also have the option to do hammer-ons. So that's how I play slide, except I have a slide on my finger. Obviously, different tone with your fingers, but I'm just pretending like I have a slide on my finger when I don't. And I like to use my first finger as well for pull-offs and such. Now, here's a trick. You have your slide on your third finger. How do you do a pull-off? Use your second finger. It's hard to use your pinky because the slide is kind of heavy, so you're also, your slide tends to bounce against the guitar neck. So I'm not playing anything really fancy here. Now, it's kind of get more advanced here. I'm using two fingers and a thumb, so I'm using all three strings. I'm just kind of, you know, jumping around here randomly, showing you a couple of little tricks that I do. Nothing super fancy. Now, when you have your slide on your finger, it's hard to play all those licks with the pull-offs. In fact, it's pretty much impossible. So let's get into that for a second. So I'm playing the first string, fifth fret. And I'm playing the fifth, fourth, and third. And then I use my third finger on the second string, fifth fret. And the same thing with the third string. So it's basically five, three, fifth fret, third fret. Five, three, five, three. Then you add your middle notes here. Obviously, you can't play those licks with your slide. So here's, I, here's how I get around that. So I'm using my first finger. I'm just kind of jumping around. Only using my first finger. And I'm pulling off. And I'm playing the outside strings on that leg. So I'm really just kind of jumping around experimenting. And I'm using, again, my fingers down here to finger pick. 
I want to play a power chord, I play all three. I pluck them all three at the same time. Thumb, first, and second finger. So I know I jumped around a lot and showed you various different things that may not seem to fit together, but the idea is that you don't necessarily need them to fit together. As long as you know where the key is and where those notes are, you can slide into them either with a slide or your fingers and just kind of experiment. Again, I use my thumb, first finger, and second finger, and I highly recommend that style, especially on a three string. It gives you a lot of options as far as finger picking. You can play chords, you can play partial chords, and you can have one note in the middle string or the third string as a bass note. There's just all sorts of different things if you use your fingers. So I highly recommend doing that. I virtually never use a pick on a cigar box guitar, and I never use a pick on a six string when I play slide. It just doesn't really work for me. Now, your mileage may vary. I don't, I'm not saying that that's the wrong thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars, just like this one. Since 2004, 20 years. And we'll see you next time.